We face such challenges all the time. One of the most serious was associated with the creation of nuclear weapons exactly 80 years ago. It was then that our country made an incredible, truly revolutionary breakthrough. In the shortest possible time, we implemented our atomic project, which made it possible to create a reliable shield undercover to which we live today. But that's not the only thing that's important. It was then that we first began to develop the peaceful atom. There is such a concept of a system that forms the tan industry, which holds a significant part of the economy. The atomic future, in my opinion, can rightly be called a somewhat different future, now forming the atomic sphere. It's not just weapons or electricity, it's breakthrough developments in a variety of areas, medicine, materials, space. All this already has quite practical application. Moreover, in most spheres, we are ultimately undisputed leaders, which clearly no one will be able to catch up with the report of my colleague Leonid Kedral for decades to come. Nina Vidos, I dreamed of the sea since childhood. Before my eyes, there was always an example of my grandfather, a long-distance voyage captain and the older brother of a ship's mechanic. The girl herself is already a step away from the position of senior assistant captain of the nuclear icebreaker Project 420. There are already dozens of exams, both theoretical and on board the ship. You need to know how to control the atomic giant, how and in what situations to cancel the power of the reactors, how to lay a channel in the ice. The Izvestia film crew walked a small part of the way, the height of navigation. This is such a peculiar road because of the crushed one. The icebreaker team calls the channel. It is cut at the very beginning of winter navigation, that is, in November or November. December like this. The canals can be used for a little more than a month. Broken ice flows are jammed under the edge of the ice on both sides of the canal and freeze and so on. For each passage, in the end, after about a month, the broken ice simply has nowhere to go along the edges of the channel. The ice almost reaches to the bottom, and this shaft extends for 30 to 40 mm chassis and the channel itself turns out to be an ice porridge. In such conditions, even 60 megawatts of a modern icebreaker is simply not enough to move forward. This giant structure is even impossible to capture in its entirety. It is a huge electric motor. On the contrary, they have three ice breakers. One single task is to turn learn it, at the end of which there is a screw. The collapse looks. That's it. And the most interesting thing. This shaft is located. From the port side and it rotates clockwise. The father of two others is little against the sentry. This is necessary to ensure that the icebreaker moves steadily and nerves become courses. All this is the insides of the icebreaker Arctic, on which Nina Widow finds her very first exit to the sea. When I came here as a watch assistant trainee in 1919, we had several people there. You could count on your fingers the girls on icebreakers. And now on each icebreaker, several girls are working precisely for a command position. A few days ago, for the first time in history, the certificate of captain of the nuclear icebreaker was awarded to Marina Starovoitova. She walked all the way from Navalny to the top. A sailor's journey. There are fewer nuclear icebreaker captains globally than astronauts. If there are any comments, licenses are ready to be heard. No, notice and no complaints. No, good. You should have talked about women in the nuclear fleet. And uh, during Vladimir Putin's meeting with nuclear industry workers, Nina Vdovina just recently ended another flight, and now she's in the same room with the Russian president. Who are you on this? Who are you working on this? Two landlord captain go crazy, honestly. Look, I thought the girl was studying at school. She was too assistant capital. But it's more about prospects. First of all, save more away. Is the Northern Sea route important to you? It's not important to me, it's important to our country. The Northern Sea route is the shortest road between Europe and Asia, two and a half, 1,000 nautical miles from the Kara Gate to the bay, holding the Bojeswets Canal at least two times longer. Saving fuel time, so in six years, cargo turnover has almost doubled from 20 million tons in 2018 to 38 million tons. 2024, Oleg Kromenkov, captain of the nuclear icebreaker Vygach, says that for most of the planet's sailors, Arctic waters seem extremely dangerous, but only until meeting the Russian icebreaker fleet. There was a case when we conducted foreign ships of the same company. The captain stated that the ice there was heavy and uh, he's scared. 
After Wygotch passed him through, he said, no guys, only there is no speed of 10 knots. The problem is that we are going full speed, that is, they trust us. They know it's safe alone. Of the modes the icebreaker worked, this movement was turned forward. Then the ice does not just break a large ice flow, tightens the screws and breaks it into much smaller pieces. Of course, there are some supplies aboard the icebreaker. These are the blades, but the team says that it is virtually impossible to break them by flying around. See how thick it is here. Larger than a human hand. Traffic along the route has grown so much in recent years that Voiga Chataya Mir ice breakers built to work in the Yenisei Kara Sea are increasingly reaching the Pacific Ocean. Now there is a huge project there. It is Pevek who imported biomaterials. This is Boiler Island, this is Sunny Tixi Bay, and the port is slowly developing. The Arctic is the world's almost untouched reservoir of resources and development experience. They exist only in Russia. The same Baimsky Goke near Perevek in the deposit itself beyond the Arctic Circle in the wild taiga and tundra. But there is already one floating nuclear power plant in the world and the only nuclear power plant in the permafrost zone, Belibinskaya. Many countries are interested in the Russian experience in the Arctic. By the way, we are discussing with our American partners the possibility of working together in this area, not only in our Arctic zone, but also in Alaska, at the same time technology that we have by now. Only we possess this expertise. And this is to present interest to our partners, including those from the States. Now, there are three eight nuclear icebreakers, of which four are modern design, four two zeros. Another three are being built, as well as the fundamentally new icebreaker leader. But already now, there are more nuclear ships in Russia than were simultaneously in service in the SSSR, which means that crews, as well as girls in command positions, will become more. Leonid Petra, Kirill Grishin, and Phil Komisarov report for REN-TV.